At an audience with the Pope, prompted by the discovery of children's unmarked graves, three women carried cradle boards, a dramatic reminder of the childhoods lost to residential schools. Our whole world is in this cradle board. And if we don't make it right, we have to make it right. Before the Pope's arrival, the women were told to leave or sit in the back. It was a state event in which our own leadership as Indigenous people was not heard. And while the cradle board was in the room, the Pope did not see it. Church officials later saying there wasn't enough room for everyone, but again causing friction on a carefully choreographed trip that's drawn mixed reviews. I said I don't want to be uh, holding anything in my heart, you know, I just want to move forward. We've done our part, especially with the kind of energy and effort we put into this week, uh, and now it's up to the church to do its part. Canadian bishops say they'll present an action plan in the fall, leaving many to wonder what, if any, concrete measures will follow. The Pope leaves Canada having delivered no apology on behalf of the Catholic Church itself. Instead, he promised a search for truth with no details. And the Vatican is said to be working on a statement about the doctrine of discovery that spurred colonization. It's about ending the patterns of domination and dehumanization that the Vatican put into motion. It's been seven years since the Truth and Reconciliation Commission called on the Pope to come to this country and apologize, and centuries since the harms began. Some Indigenous leaders are still having to look to the future for answers about the past. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Quebec City.